Onboarding is a term that is used quite often in bigger businesses, but when it comes to the wedding professionals that I've worked with, when I say we need to onboard your couples, they look at me like I have five heads. It seems like a silly term when you're talking about the wedding industry, but I promise you that you still will find a huge benefit to onboarding couples in an efficient and thorough way so that your couples are asking less questions and know what to expect each step of the way when working with you. Onboarding provides a foundation for great communication, realistic expectations, and positive outcomes for all parties involved, which is really, really important when you're working in such a personalized industry. When you're thinking about onboarding your couples, you should be thinking about how you can provide them with everything they need to know about what working with you looks like. When should they expect communication from you? Should they provide you with any information at a certain time? How do they get a hold of you? What's the best way to contact you? And how long should they wait to expect an answer from you? And the golden rule that I tell all of my clients when it comes to onboarding their couples is to answer their questions before they even realize they have them. I've worked with too many businesses who after the contract and invoice is signed, there is no communication for months and the clients are left wondering, when should I reach out? Are they gonna reach out to me? Or what is the next step in this process? Imagine being your couple, just sitting there as the wedding day is slowly approaching, wondering, what do I do next? Are they gonna reach out to me? Should I reach out to them? Should I give them some more information about the wedding day? What do they need from me? If you aren't providing your couple with the information of when you're going to reach back out to them or what to expect, they're just left wondering and Wedding is already a stressful enough time, so we want to make things as simple for your couples as possible. So what does onboarding a wedding couple look like? Here are some tips for how to efficiently onboard a wedding couple so that you can help make their experience so much more enjoyable. Immediately after your client books, aka they've signed and they've paid their deposit, we want to send them an email with some information on what working with you looks like. I really love turning this into a brochure or a document, a PDF of sorts that goes over all the information that they need to know. So they have a resource to come to if they have questions before they reach out to you. And also so that, like I said, we're answering their questions before they even realize that they have them. Some things that you can include in this email or this guide is thanking them for booking. Express your gratitude that they chose you over all the other vendors out there that they could have picked. Like I said earlier, explain to them how they should get a hold of you. Should they call you, text you, email you? Do you have another communication that you like to use? How do they reach you? If you use a CRM, specifically HoneyBook, walk them through how to use that communication system so that they are knowledgeable when they need to email you and you're not constantly having to say, please remember to email me through the HoneyBooks platform. And the other part of this is letting them know how long they should wait for a response from you. Maybe you check emails on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if your client emails you on Friday morning and you don't respond to them all weekend and then all day Monday and they're left wondering, did she get my email? If they know you check your email on Tuesdays and Thursdays, then they are less likely to reach out to you confirming that you received their email and and sending a follow-up. They know, okay, she'll check her email on Tuesday and that is when I should expect a response. This also allows for them to follow up if they haven't heard from you. So maybe you truly did miss their email because it happens and we are all human and we make mistakes. So they know, I haven't heard from my vendor all week and I know she checks email on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I sent the email Monday morning. I should follow up and make sure she saw the email. It's okay if you miss their email or forgot to respond, but letting them know how long it will take for you to get back to them allows for them to follow up when necessary. Let them know when to expect communication from you. Are you gonna be reaching out to them when it's time to schedule a walkthrough of the venue or maybe their engagement session or a hair and makeup trial or tasting depending on what your business is or Do they need to reach out to you when it's time to do that? A little pro tip, if you are letting your clients 
reach out to you when they are ready to schedule a session. Use the document that you are sending them after booking and include a link to your scheduling calendar. So then they have everything they need ahead of time to book that appointment that they need with you. If you are a wedding business that really has no other contact with your clients until it's time to start planning the final pieces of the wedding, let them know that. Let them know that you thank them for booking with you. You will be in touch so many months before the wedding to start planning the final details. And of course, if you have any questions, reach out at any time. And whether or not you really have a lot of final details to go over with your clients, Make sure that you are collecting the wedding day timeline ahead of time so that you know where your couples are going to be and you are not chasing them down on the wedding day. Always ask for a method of contact or a person to contact that is not the bride or groom so that you are not bothering them on their wedding day and use a questionnaire to collect all of this information two to three months before the wedding day. And finally, don't forget to ask them for contact information from the venue. Most venues, of course, will reach out to us, but if they don't and there's specific information that you need to have, make sure that you can contact the venue yourself and not bother your couple with this. Another piece of information that you can include in this email or document that you're sending after your client books is letting them know what to expect from you and your team on the wedding day. Maybe they won't even see you on the wedding day and you will drop off the material or the items that you need to without contact to them. Let them know this so that they are aware and aren't wondering, did my baker bring my cake? Is everything set up? Is there anything I need to do? If you have products to give them after the wedding, specifically photographers and videographers, let them know how long to expect those images or videos back after the wedding. It doesn't mean that people are not going to reach out to you asking if they're photos or videos are done yet, but it will lead to less communication and questions from the couples wondering when things are going to be done. Also in this document, and this is why I say this should be more of a brochure or a PDF document rather than an email, because there's a lot of information that you could include in here. You could also split this up into two different documents. Let them know the vital information they need to know immediately after booking. And then if there's more information that they need to know for the actual wedding day, you could send that out in the midway through working with them. So then you are having contact with your couples during that period of time where sometimes you go months without talking to them. This is a good time to send another document like this, letting them know some more information for the wedding day. But also include information that your clients need to know about the wedding day. Do they need to be prepared in a specific way? I'm thinking hair and makeup artists. What do they need to know about their hair and their face and their skin for the wedding day? Photographers and videographers, do they need to have details ready for you? Give them tips on how to really enhance their detail photos and videos and explain this to them. A lot of couples do not understand what the wedding day details are or how to really enhance those photos and videos. Give them this information ahead of time. And don't forget that sometimes it takes multiple times of telling your couples these things for it to really sink in. So including this in multiple places and in multiple emails will ensure that your couples are prepared for you for the wedding day. Final two pieces that you can include in this email or document that you are sending your couples after they book is, do you have any tips or tricks that you've learned after working multiple weddings? This doesn't have to do with the the specialty that your business is, but maybe you've just learned a few tips and tricks that can really make the wedding day go smoother. Include this for them. That is what will really help them connect with you deeper and think, wow, they really went above and beyond and provided me with information that really helped me make my wedding day perfect. And final, if there are a lot of questions that you get asked, include an FAQ guide at the end of this document and you can include it at the end of each document that you send them if you do decide to split this up into a couple different ones so that they have a place to go if there are more questions that they have and it also avoids you getting the same questions asked over and over and over again. 
And the final piece to client onboarding is to make sure that you are tracking it through a project management system. If you don't know what a project management system is, you can go back to my previous video walkthrough of ClickUp. That is my favorite project management tool, but there are a tons of different ones out there. But ensuring that you are tracking where your clients are in their onboarding process will make sure that you thoroughly get this done with each client, especially if you are a wedding planner or venue and you have multiple appointments to schedule with your couples. It is 100% necessary for you to be tracking this through a project management system and ensuring that everything that your couples need to get done ahead of time before the wedding is getting done in a timely manner and efficiently. Tracking this through a project management system is going to ensure that everybody is on the same page on your team and also help you remember, oh, hey, so-and-so needs to schedule their venue walkthrough or their six-month planning check-in and make sure that you are not forgetting to remind them to schedule these things because even if it's their responsibility, if you leave it on them to schedule these things when they are ready, you're still going to have to remind them. They're not going to remember. So having a system for tracking and keeping an eye on when these dates are coming up for things that your couples need to do for you will make their their experience better and will also make your experience better because your clients will be on top of the things that they need to get to you. Like I said, client onboarding is one of the most important parts of working with your couples. It is starting off on a positive foot with them, helping them to make sure that they feel that you truly care about them in their wedding day and making them feel informed and in control. Do not pass on this. Do not think that onboarding a couple is necessary in the wedding business. I promise you it is going to change your client experience and it's also going to change your experience a ton too. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will be back in two weeks. Bye.